Hey everyone, this is Andrew with Prime Investigator Advice at Prime Investigator Advice hq.com you can also go go to that website and see some of the other videos that i've done or you can uh, check out the pride investigator podcast uh, on itunes or stitcher whatever you prefer anyways uh today we're going to take a look at ring central we're going to look at their faxing system and and one of the reasons why i've had this for two years is because i wanted to be able to be anywhere um uh and, you know in reach of my computer and be able to receive a fax now I haven't used this that often, and I've only paid, I think, I want to say maybe 80 or so bucks, maybe it was 90 bucks, for an entire year of having this virtual fax system. Um, I mean, you could do the research yourself. You'll find that Re Ring Central is basically the best virtual fax system that's out there for the price. Um, it might even be one of the cheapest, too. I can't quite remember. But um, I just want to give you a, you know, kind of a, a rundown of, you know, how easy this thing is to use. Um, and, you know, I don't know if, uh, if, if faxing is ever going to be obsolete. I mean, I know it's definitely tapered off, but I didn't want to be that business that didn't have that, um, you know, capability. Like what, what if somebody needed to fax me something and I was like, I don't want to say, oh, well, I don't have that capability. So I, what, I don't get the job. So I wanted to be able to, you know, for a very small investment, if you're spending 80 or $90 for an entire year for um you know to have faxing wherever you go so you could be working a case in, a, in another state and still you know be able to uh receive your fax um you know definitely an asset so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and log in here and uh let's just get into the system you can kind of see what i see and again i don't use it that much but um you know i'll just basically going to go through the motions of uh um going through a fax you know what uh what you have to do so i'm uh i'm logging in here and this is the first thing you'll see um i i do the ring central 500 plan and you know it says included credits and, and this is not what i'm paying a month if, i think if you were to pay monthly this is what you would pay but i, I have a plan and um I've already uh, done some testing, so I've uh, used some of my minutes per se. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I never, I've never exceeded this. I mean, maybe if you're a very busy PI company, um, then you, then you might. But otherwise, I, I highly doubt you will. So, yeah, if I ever receive a message, it'll be up in this box right here. And if I make any calls, it'll have a call log right here, and, and you'll you'll see that after I uh, I fax out um, from here. Um, you know, call log, you can keep your company contacts, company settings. Um, this is like your contact information and, and or uh, things like that. Um, you know, and so on and so on. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff I don't even know. I don't even see. This is stuff that I, I don't use. Um, so I never even mess with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fax out. Now what I'm, I have already prepared a, a fax and it's just, it's just a basic fax that says this is a fax. And, um, I made it on Word and then I scanned it, so it would, you know it's in a little PDF and uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like to. Uh, and you don't even have to do what I did. You could you could upload a Word document in here and fax it to somebody if that's if that's how it needed to be. You know maybe they don't have internet access. So I'm going to go ahead and fax out here. And let's see. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the fax number of the person, and and to do that I'm just going to put in my own fax number. So it's just going to be sent to me. And we're going to title it to Joe. And we're going to add Joe to this, this fax. You can add uh, many people if you needed to. Oops, what did I do wrong here? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add the attachment. So if this is a, you know, if you've scanned it in, for me, I have to have to scan it in and and uh, um, to make the attachment. So I'm going to go ahead here, and this is the the file that I told you about. And just so you know, essentially it looks like this. This is a fax. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add that to this. I'm just going to put it in there. I'm going to go ahead and put a... Uh, cover page note thank you you for your business maybe you're sending in a uh, an invoice to them and I'm gonna go ahead and send a fax 
Now it's going to take a second for uh, for this to go through. Not very long at all. Probably you know maybe just a little longer than an email would take to send out. Okay, so it took about a minute. And uh, as you can see, that I, I have a new message here, and this is the number that it's showing that it's come from. Um, so it must be routing all the way to New York. And if you want to just kind of get a quick view of what was sent, kind of hover over this. And now I accidentally pressed the button here, so hold on a sec. Usually you can hover, yeah. And it just get, that's that. This will be your 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 uh, your face page or your cover page. So what we'll do is we'll open it up. And um, this is this is essentially what you're going to see. This is this will be my company, right? And and uh, you guys know that already. Um, Sent to Joe. I know I could have put in more information here, but I, I chose not to, just for the sake of just uh, this demonstration. And then the note here that I wrote: "Thank you for your business." So that's the automatic cover sheet that's generated. And and then down here, that would have been the fax that I was sending. Sending. I mean sending. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, see here. So, you know, like I said, the main reason why I would choose to use this virtual this fax system is uh, because you can be anywhere and get your faxes. So if you're expecting stuff and, and you'd have access to it, all you would do is just do it like I did, and um, you know, go go to a printer or or download to your computer and put it on a little thumb drive and as long as you had a printer in the area maybe you have one with you you can just print it out real quick so uh, you know and it, here's what you do so if you want to sign up if you're interested in this they have a uh, at the moment as I'm recording this they have a, a 30 day free trial so you can go ahead and click on that go to my website and click on that and uh, here it is it'll kind of give you a rundown send receive broadcast message um, it, when it says $79 a month, I think you have to pay for that all at once. You're just basically paying for a year in advance. Um, and they just, they basically send me an email like, Hey, we're getting ready to bill you. Um, you know, here's the, uh, the products. If you're a busy business, you know, if you got a lot going on, you got a lot of faxes happening, they give you different options here. Um, this is, I believe, you know, probably for the typical private investigation agency. I'm not talking, you know, like the, the big, big ones, but the, uh, uh, one two-man operations. Um, this is probably going to be more appropriate for you. And you know, even if you're not a private investigator, you just you just need a fax system for whatever reason because you were receiving faxes. Again, you don't have to be a business to do this. You can just have a you know have a fax line just like this. Uh, so it gives you uh, 500 free pages inclu included monthly. You can do the free trial buy right now. Um, and uh, see right here, it just gives you a toll-free or local number, a and it's dedicated. You know, you can receive faxes at any time, anywhere, uh, and just get them right to your computer. And, you know, they give you other options here. I, I would definitely uh, browse through the website. Um, I'm thinking about getting a phone system through here. I, I'm not quite sure yet. but uh, So then, yeah, click on the free trial, and, you know, you pick your number. You can pick an 88 number. Then you choose a number from here, give you a variety of them. Um, you know, apparently you can just keep on browsing if you want. And uh, then you click continue. And you enter your information in here. And then uh, there'll be, the next screen will be billing. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through all this. Um, well, maybe I can here. Let's see here. Okay, so I, I finished this real quick. Uh, just And I, I kind of skipped through it so you didn't have to watch me type in all that stuff in. And I click to go ahead, and we go to the next one. And it gives you this. You fill in your billing information. Now, like I was telling you before, you do the prepaid annual year. So, okay, I was a little bit off here. It was uh, uh, ninety-five fifty. Or look, I mean, in, and this is, I think, only if you continue past the free trial. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it when you're typing this in. Um, so it, you basically you have to enter payment if you want to create a free account. Uh, it says you can cancel your account at any time by con contact, contacting customer service. So it's, uh, you know, here's an, even another option here. You can just go monthly. Maybe you only need it for a short period of time. And you e immediately get the number. So once you sign up, there's no there's no delay. Um, and then you go ahead and start your free trial here. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. But uh, definitely something to consider if you're looking for a virtual fax system. Uh, hopefully this helps you out, uh, whether it's just your personal or your business. 
And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, and uh, if you do decide to go through Ring Central, make sure you click through the link on the Prime Investigator Advice website. Uh, I do receive a small commission uh, just for uh, referring anybody to it. And, you know, I use it, so that's why I'm recommending it. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. And hey, everyone. The last tip I had, and I forgot to mention it in the tutorial, was that uh, every time you receive a fax, you get an email. So you don't have to go back and check the fax system just to find out if you got a fax. Uh, you just get an email letting you know that one's there. You can go on the system and, and, and take it out of it. So that was the last tip I had. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.